Good morning, hostie. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I am Organizer Janet, and today I am going to be sharing with you just a few simple ways you can organize the paperwork in your home and your life. I'm going to turn the camera around real quick. Well, good morning. And for those of you who don't know this, I am Organizer Janet. I help people organize their homes, their offices, as well as their lives. And today I'm going to share with you five. Five ways you can organize the paper that comes into your home and that is a part of your life. So I'm going to get started. The first thing is mail comes in. Even though we're supposed to be paperless, I know a lot of you probably pay your bills online, streamline that part of the paperwork in your life, you still get mail. So you need a place to put it. So this is just a nice little tray. And what I do is I open up, I usually open up my mail every day and then I just put it there. So at least I know what is in there, if it's anything I need to handle immediately. So that's number one. Number two, maybe you're doing some home remodeling, home repairing. You have expenses for work. You have expenses for your, for your business. And a lot of times you just need to Keep those receipts together until you do your expense reports, etc. So this is a great little box. It's actually a CD box, but I just labeled it receipts and then I just drop receipts in. So that way it helps keep them organized and it keeps your space clutter free. And also what I did for one client, he has property. So he has a box for each property. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Now this box is for if you are possibly maybe a caregiver um, responsible for someone's um, personal life. Thank you so much for the hearts. This is fantastic because when I was taking care of my mom, I made sure I kept all of her paperwork, insurance, medical, um, bills, etc. separate from mine but always I was able to stay on, on top of it. So basically this is a file box with a handle, which is great because then you can carry it with you. It's small and you can tuck it in a space. So that's number three. Now, number four, of course, and I'm just going to have to finagle myself over here is how I organize. This is exactly my filing system. As you can see, I've got everything from income tax, insurance, medical, etc. And this is all I have for my personal files because I pay a lot of bills online. I've streamlined. So this is just I'll pull back as a file box. It's small because I live in an apartment. So I, there was no need for me to get a huge filing cabinet. So this is how I organize my current paperwork. Now, at the end of the year, when I take out, um, those old files and the ones that I really need to keep because usually I keep things for about a year and then I shred them. I put them in this and this is just a file box that has 2016 information and it has some other information, but this is it. This is all, this is my entire archive. So I don't keep anything um, more than what can fit in this box which kind of helps me kind of cut down on all the things that I keep in my life as well. So those are just a few ways on how and I'll pull back from the tray for your incoming mail, from the small box for your receipts, from the uh, box with the handle if you're a caregiver or even if you may be in between properties and you need to keep information about your current property separate from your, your um, another property, that's a great way. And then, of course, your current files, always keep your current files organized and then just have something for archive for those things you need to keep maybe for a year or just for a little bit as well. I hope you have found these tips helpful. And of course, a couple of more tips is number one, get a great shredder so that when you get information in that you don't want or you have information you no longer need, you shred it and make sure you get a cross cut shredder because that's the best, the most secure. And of course, recycle things. So when you get those circulars in the mail or in your mailbox, make sure you recycle them as well. And of course, always make the trash can your best friend because you want to get rid of as much as you possibly can. So those are just my tips for this Saturday, this weekend. So my five ways to help you just conquer and corral that paper clutter in your life. 
So, of course, if you want more information, you can be sure. Thank you so much for the hearts. Be sure to go to my website at JanetMTaylor.com where I have more information, more resources. And while you're at it, why not check out my Facebook group where they are kicking clutter in the butt. So until next time, I want you to have a clutter-free day. But most of all, have an organized week. Bye.